Oh, hey, uh, I'm back. So, um, I just stopped the recording and realized that the audio is all messed up. Um, and I don't know how to fix it, so... The last two hours... Or actually, no. Because... Okay, yeah, the last the last hour of recording audio, the game audio doubled up, so it's gonna it's gonna sound kind of funky. I'm sorry about that, but yeah, uh, enjoy. <laughs> All right, so what am I doing here? Oh, the paintings move a little bit. You smack them. Maybe not. Maybe I'm just imagining things. Um, can't quite remember what I was doing up here. Revelio. Probably looking for secrets if I had to guess. Level locked. Can't seem to talk to anyone either. So probably should try and follow the main quest if I'm not finding any secrets up here. What is going on with this fog, though? You know, I <laughs> I had turned down uh, the fog graphics, not thinking of how prevalent the fog was going to be. Well, that looks a little bit better. Perhaps. We won't look directly at the fog. That's okay. I mean, this looks fine. Yeah. I'd swear we'd be more uplifted in potions if it were taught by Dementors. I'd like to see your parents' faces when they see your marks at the end of term. Perhaps you should work on your polyjuice potion so you can pay them a visit as sharp and lie yourself silly about how marvelous you are and how you exceeded expectations. <laughs> Do you find it hard to get the right consistency in a confusing concoction? I can never get mine to thicken. Oh, everybody knows you're in remedial potions. Have you ever noticed in potions that the girl who sits in the corner almost always nearly melts her cauldron? I find it quite disconcerting, and Sharp doesn't even raise an eyebrow. Yet I drop one nettle too many, and I get the stare of the basilisk. Oh. oh, do shut up. I do like the little dialogues that they have. Oh, oh, we know this. Lumos. Ah, I don't know where that is. Oh, a thing. Money. Very nice. We love money. Oh, well, I should be... Yeah, I should be doing that, shouldn't I? Oh. Oh, I heard something. Ah, yes. Oh, no, it's up there. Gotcha. What's this? Yeah, look through that. Hmm. I don't trust that owl. Wow. Oh, oh, where'd you go? Oh. Where'd you go, buddy? <laughs> Are you supposed to be up there? Wait, what if I... Come here. Oh. Levioso. Oh, that poor creature. Okay. What's this? 
Oh, yep, yep. Very cloudy up there. Well, Rebellion. Of course, I meant to do that on purpose. Astronomy telescope. Guide pages. The telescope is the finest stargazing instrument of its kind. Perfect for viewing the moon and the stars and anything else one might find in the night sky. Beautiful. Let's see. Oh, I think I see a chest below me. Revelio. Oh, well, maybe. Hmm. I don't know what that is. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I have uh. I can grab you, right? Akio. No. Levioso. Akio. What's up with you? How do I do this puzzle? Akio. So I don't grab it. Lumos. Oh, you're a moth. Oh, of course you are. Right. Moths like light. Yep, no, that makes sense now. Oh, I was the fool before. Um. Over here. No, wait. Yeah. Cool. I like puzzles. It must be difficult to live in those remote houses. Okay, where to now? What is this? Is this a thing? Lumos. Levioso. Accio. Probably fine. Is are you a thing? Rebellion. Oh, there's so many things in this world. Oh, <laughs> uh, ghost! Why are you the way that you are? Wait, did he just go down there? Wait. I mean, I mean, yeah, ghost walls, right? Walls don't matter to a ghost. But that's not like a thing, is it? I'm going to choose to ignore it. There's no secret floor right there. There can't be. No, it's fine. It's fine. Totally fine. Where am I? Where am I going? Uh, story. What are you? Weasley after class. Yeah. Is that being tracked? How do you track? Right click? Gotcha. And then hit, hit it with the V. Awesome. I like this magic compass. It, it's very nice. Oh, wait. This thing. I know how to do this now. I do... No, I mean... Lumos. Mm. Ooh. You want the... I don't know what you want, dude. I, I'm one skull short. Revelio. Mm. This is a puzzle and I have no idea how to do it. That's okay. What are you? Little origami things. Accio. You're probably nothing, right? Yeah, probably. Or you Lumos. must. Ah? Uh, no, probably nothing. What are you? There's Rebellion. so much stuff. 
Lumos. You need a light to see the book? Mr. Bookman? No? Okay. <sighs> Sir. Oh, well, we have this again. Lumos. Uh Rebellion. Hmm. Not sure. Oh, there's a flu. Yes, awesome. Not that I've teleported once so far. Well, actually only once. Boo. <laughs> uh, I'm a child. Oh, another flu. But I found that one already. Hmm, guess not. Oh, a note. Oops. Wyvern Fountain. This fountain is the Transfiguration... Transfiguration Courtyard. Has a likeness of a wyvern on top of and serves as a relaxing place for students to gather. Despite rumors to the contrary, possibly started by Sir Ketagon, this is most assertedly not meant to be the wyvern of Wei, slain by the likely knight in spite of him. Hmm. Interesting. It's kind of tiny. Like a little baby dragon. Hmm, cool. What was that? And why was that so weird? Oh, there's just invisible shears trimming the hedges. Can I grab him? I guess not. I need a pet every cat, man. Every single cat needs pets. What about the room, Professor? I was thinking the same thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. Is that the house elf oh, uh, I've been seeing? Excuse, Deke. <laughs> ah, there you are. I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit before you arrived. I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me. Isn't there? Oh. Uh. Well. I don't want to lie to her, but I did. I promised Professor Fig that I wasn't going to. To rat him out. Nothing more, Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a streeler. Regardless, you must continue to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. Thanks. Yeah, Professor Ronan mentioned Professor that. Ronan did mention something about that. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Now, regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier. We've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spell crafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. I get a... I get a... get a wand? Ooh. Ooh. Can you tell me more about the potions shop, Professor? J. Pippin's potions stocks a wide array of potions ingredients, although they rarely sell recipes. 
Professor Sharp asked that they have a couple of particular recipes on hand for you. Hmm. I've never heard of a spellcraft before, Professor. What is it? A spellcraft is a recipe of sorts used when conjuring objects. I shall explain more about them when you begin working with transfiguration magic. Wait, transfiguration, so I get to make stuff? Is that what that means? There's an Ollivanders in Hogsmeade. There is. Most people are familiar with the shop in Diagon Alley. We're fortunate to have someone like him nearby. Mr. Ollivander is a genuine craftsman and highly skilled wand maker. I would trust no one else to pair me with a wand. Hmm. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Sallo or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. Ooh, um, ooh. I don't remember who's who, to be honest. Uh, is Natty the, the Indian girl? She seems nice. I'd like to go with Natty. Excellent choice. Miss Onai is one of our most talented students. And she knows the area. She'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? A rather unsavory local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the Three Broomsticks. Ooh, yes. I do love, love a good a good butterbeer. This has no butter in it, unfortunately. I was I was I was thinking about making the recipe earlier, but it calls for several liters of beer. Um this is a one liter jug. And it's only it's it's not even halfway full. This is this is two beers. So two uh normal size cans. So like two of these is is less than half so the the recipe i was looking at calls for making a three liter batch uh maybe not maybe not tonight i'll, I'll do that later speak to professor ronin to receive your first assignment assignments are types of quests given to you by hogwarts professors that when completed reward you with new spells Ooh. The reward for completing your first assignment will be the Mending Charm Reparo, which is required to complete other quests. You can track assignments and their progress in the quest menu of your field guide. Wonderful, wonderful. Ooh, hat. I want, I want the hat. Oh, it's got bunny ears. Rebellion. Oh wait, there's other stuff in here. Oh. Nope, that's not what I wanted. Partial transfiguration. This partially transfigured teacup, likely the soon-to-be reverse error of a second year, serves as a cautionary tale for those students who do not take seriously the complexities and dangers of transfiguration. That's a mouse cup. That right there is a mouse cup. Oh, huh, wonderful. Revelio. I want to do that. I want to make my own mouse cup. Ooh, stuff. No, just money. Okay. I want that. That hat looks so cool. I want the hat. I don't think I've found any hats yet. Excuse you. I don't know why that didn't start on fire. I feel like that should have. Oh, how how dare I? Um. 
A lovely ah, story. there you are. You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do, and an exceedingly useful one at that. The mending charm, Reparo. Fixes things right up, makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. Hmm. It seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. <laughs> we will have you casting Ropero in no time. Why must I first complete tasks to learn Ropero? No lesson or lecture can compare to first-hand experience. And these tasks should provide you with just that. Such experience is invaluable when mastering any new bit of magic. Why must I first complete oh, wait, tasks to learn Reparo? No lesson or lecture can oh, compare oh. to first-hand experience. Such experience is invaluable when mastering any new bit of magic. Well, I can't skip dialogue, so let's not I'll start mess on the up task again. Right away, Professor. What do you want me to do? Oh, you okay? This is the right area. I wonder where the flying page is. Revelio. Oh, oh. Oh, where'd you go? Accio. Got it. Flying page must be around here somewhere. Revelio. Where are you hiding? Oh. Accio. Brilliant. Brilliant. I trust the preliminary tasks were too, too much trouble. I can't do that. To show off. I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. Remember. Your wand is a conduit oh. of your magic. Ooh, F. That's a new one. Oh. Repair. Oh. Men and charm repair can be used to mend broken objects and pieces of the environment. Why, uh, why did it show the rhino that I just destroyed like four times That's in a row? It. Very good. Repair. If you would like to practice mending something, have a go with that broken statue in the alcove nice. by the water. It allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Perhaps a jilted <laughs> lover thought it too accurate and lashed out. <laughs> Repair. Something quite satisfying about using the mending charm, isn't there? I love that I can just destroy it again. Oh. Well, that didn't work quite how I expected it to. Oh. Oh. There we go. That is satisfying. I, I enjoyed that. Oh, are we done? Alright. Okay, what now? I want to go to Hogsmeade. I want to go here. Take me away. Big door. Oh, oh, look, I can get you now. No, 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 not quite. Revelio. Use. What do you mean, use? 
Oh, I don't like that at all. But I love that, but I absolutely hate that. Oh, stone shouldn't move like that. Oh, that's too creepy. I don't enjoy that. Oh, that thing. I know that thing. Okay. This uh, looks like the location from the painting. I sure do. What could be so special about? Let's get you back to your frame, little moth. Lumos. That audio cue is a little off. <laughs> I knew there was a connection. I should tell Lenora that I solved the puzzle of that empty frame. Like a moth to the frame. Oh, I love it. Oh, I love a good pun. Wait, 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 was there something else here? Right, the puzzle. Right, so I already solved one puzzle, right? So, we established that this is zero. Um, and that is one question mark, so that's going to relate to this one. So this is at 21, right? So, it's, that's 11, so we need 10 more. So, 10, 10, 9, 8, right? Because that's 0, 1, 2, 11, 12, 13, yeah, yeah, so I need 8, wait, so 1, no, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, it's a spitter. Cool. And then puzzle two. Weird octopus thing. That's right there. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So fourteen. So three, so zero, one, two, three. It's a three, the three headed snake. So the two question marks, wherever they might be. It's up there. Boom, that should do it. Oh, I get free stuff. Suit of armor. Ornate black brown gloves. Wait, did I just unlock an entire suit of armor? Because if that's the case, um, I'm actually pumped. Oh, legendary, you say? Oh, those are some pretty snazzy gloves we got there. Yeah, no more superb gloves. I have legendary gloves now. Where's my armor? Or was that not a, uh... Not an actual thing I just unlocked. If, if, if this has nothing, I'm not gonna bother wear it. Yeah, same for the scarves. Hmm. I guess it was just a card. Oh well. Part of the collections, wasn't it? Hmm. Yeah, I'll just never think about it again. That's fine. Where's the top of the room, though? Oh. It must be a dome ceiling. Cool. Alright, wait, where am I going? <laughs> Oh, 
that's a it's a pen. Interesting. Revelio. Oh. Black rivet gloves. Ah, oh, but they're trash. I love this game. It just so many secrets everywhere. I love Easter eggs. And I hate that. I hate that so much. What are you? Are you a thing? I hear a chime. There's a book in there. I guess you're nothing? Where did that book go? Oh! Got him. Hello, Revelio. Flash into armor. Oh, that's a club. Oh, I see. This set of armor belonged to Sir Skagglethorpe. The the heedless who unwisely challenged a mountain troll to a game of musical chairs. I don't think he won. Wow, he got real squished. Natty, I hope I haven't kept you waiting long. Not at all. Professor Weasley tells me that you need to go to Hogsbeat. Oh. You must be eager to have your own things again. She's and not Indian, she's African. I've been looking forward to it. Good. Oh, I'm a racist. I intend to give you a first rate Hogsmeade uh. experience. Uh huh. Hmm. Yeah, I'm a bad person. Okay, to be fair, it was a day and I completely forgot who anyone is. I, I, I got a bad memory. I was glad Professor Weasley asked me to accompany you. Really? Stop. Yes. I had planned to extend an invitation to you myself. I thought you might enjoy a better be in the village. Akio! The timing of the... I want that, I want that, I want... Give me the ball. I wanna play? That's not fair. you how nice it is to breathe fresh air after being cooped up in ancient rooms. Grave mistake to take it as an elective that's, class. That's the Quidditch you. thing. <laughs> I believe you. Though I suppose you would not really call it elective when your mother was the one who elected that you take it. Akio. Oh. Oh. Hogsmeade is beautiful this time of year. Everyone will tell you to visit at Christmas, but that's one of the few times of year I would rather be indoors. Winter sucks. <laughs> not much for the cold, are you? Oh, I do not mind the cold so much, but it has taken some getting used to. I did not grow up around snow. Oh yeah, that's fair. No, my birthday's in December. I oh, hate, wait. I oh, hate yeah. the winter. I often spot lacewing flies in this area. Oh? What's so special about them? They are interesting to look at. But if you stew them, you can also use them in potion making. <laughs> oh, I love that. Are those uh, trumpet flowers or something? Oh, I love that. They're so cute. I can open that. Is Hagrid in the game? Oh. 
Where's Hagrid's house? Look, from a forbidden forest. Hippogriffs. I wonder if something startled them. I heard rumors that hippogriffs had been spotted nearby. Do you think Poppy's already seen the hippogriffs? Hmm? Absolutely. Like we already met. Can I Accio? No, I can't Accio that. Over. That's the forbidden forest on the left. It's off limits to students, as the name implies. Why is it off limits? The professors claim it is too dangerous. I think that calling it forbidden only makes it more alluring. Ah, there's Hogsmeade over the crest. Past that ruin. Ah. Uh, we'll come back for you. As soon as we're done with this quest, I'm going to the Forbidden Forest. Or to see Hagrid. Or, um... Or anything, really. Um, this world is just amazing. I would spend all of my time exploring if I could. Who's that? I confess, I was surprised when Professor Weasley mentioned that you knew the area, since you're relatively new here. She said that? Hmm. hmm. She knows more about me than I had thought. I will say... While I learn a great deal in class, much can be gleaned outside of the castle walls. What are you? There's just stuff everywhere. There's so much stuff. There's toadstools. Okay, I can just keep on running and pick stuff up. I like that there's not an animation break, like when you're you pet a cat. Name? I remember the weeks that followed my arrival feeling quite strange. Everything was so... Did I pick you? Yeah. And unfamiliar. I'm getting used to things. What about you? Lake. Do you finally feel settled? I still miss my homeland. But it is beautiful here too. And getting out of the castle and exploring helped me to adjust quite a bit. Hogwarts has become something of a home now, I would say. Hopefully it will for you too. Revelio. You know what I think? Oh, there's a cat. Hold up, there's a cat. This is important. Very important. High octane gaming right there. And there's stack stones. Must be the work of fairies. Looks a bit worse for wear. Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you met our new fifth year? Pleasure. Um, you might want to turn back, Miss on I. Uh, turn and run. Is everything all right, sir? Oh, it looked right at me. Eyes big as saucers. What did Mr. Moon? Jemmy, guys, Dougley and Arian. Mm, terrifying. I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. Hmm. Demi guys? I don't remember what that oh, one is. Mr. Moon, a Demi guys. I think he had too much fun in the village. I will say that I have never seen him in such a state. Nearly there. There is much to see outside of the castle walls, not just here. I am happy to oh. explore whenever you'd like. Rumors being what they are. Moonstone. Have a friend with you. I'll keep that in mind, Natty. Thank you. Okay, so you have to do the cast to get the moonstone. What is this? Hogsmeade. No brooms. No trolls allowed. Well, that's kind of racist. Ocean supplies, merchant goods. Oh, a lot of stuff. Oh, Hogwarts. Forbidden Forest. Hogs meet again. Cool. Wait, I'm turning around. There we go. Ooh, I saw you. Rebellion. 
can't hide from me. Hogsmeade. Only all wizarding village in Britain. Hogsmeade has been a, a favorite haunt of Hogwarts students. 30 years and up for centuries. Hmm. Oh, I love it. Oh, look. Bird. And here we are. It is hard to know where to start. The three I'll start with the cat. is the place for butter beer. And you can get any sweet you can imagine at Honey Dukes. I could not choose a favorite shop here. It changes with every visit. I can tell Rebellion. you you are certain to find everything you need in Hogsmeade. Not that I'd want to go in, mind you. Oh, hello. Dread winds, precarious cauldrons. This pre, uh, this precariously stacked set of cauldrons outside Sir Edwin's advertises the shop's wares. It should be noted that stacking cauldrons in this fashion, while admittedly eye-catching, is ill-advised for anyone wishing to brew a potion of any intended effect. Okay, fair enough. Ooh, but you have a chest inside, I see. Let me just steal your stuff. Ooh. It, it's better than what I'm currently wearing? Let me just wear this right now. From 4 defense to 10? Yes, ooh. Decorous... Decorous vest school uniform. Oh, look at how snazzy I am. Oh. I strike fear in anyone. Okay, these are kind of cool gloves. It's too bad that they suck. But they're kind of cool. Where are you? Right here? Revelio. I can't run. Snazzy. Lock doors. Professor Weasley said that you need to get potion recipes, spellcraft, some seeds, and a new wand. Of course, you will enjoy Mr. Ollivanda, and I am keen to see what you will do with a wand of your own. You should be able to collect everything you need and still have time to explore a little as well. Experience hugs me at your own pace. We can meet up in the town circle when you are finished. Enjoy Wonderful. yourself. I will see you soon. Thank you, I will. Hogsmeade Village is brimming with different sites, shops, and other points of interest that you can navigate using your field guide's map. Wonderful, I think I will. Oh. Well, there are literal fireworks going off right here. Oh, and I can zoom in. Oh, I love this. But wands. I want to go get a wand. Well, that was easy. Ooh, free stuff. Oh, just money. I'll be right with... Ah, it's you. Um, just a moment, please. Ah, uh, mm. hello, sir. I'm looking for... For a new wand, yes. It's about time. Yes, uh, about time. Well, you're our new fifth-year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest one makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you, truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect one, shall we? Mm, uh, no, 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 not you. Um, ah, yes, yes. Mm, powerful core. Ten and a half inches? Hmm, you might do. 
Here, give this one a try. Well, go ahead, swish. Hmm, how odd. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. Why is it measured in inches? Oh dear. The prophecy it was foreseen. Well, this isn't a it's good in my name. Call, is it? <laughs> uh, um, we'll find you something, not to worry. Mm. No, not you. Uh, uh, mm. Perhaps. Yes. A rare wood, thirteen and three quarter inches, dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. Ooh, pretty. Oh, 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 my. oh goodness. Looks like it's back to the shelf for you. Uh, this is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. How perplexing. Um. Where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. Yes, I think you might be the one. Here, take it. Oh, 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 how intriguing. Okay, hold, hold up, hold up. Notched. Oh, can I not rotate this? I want to like do like a little rotate. I guess not. Curious indeed. I don't like just the straightness of that. The little curve is pretty nice. I do like the soft spiral. How intriguing. Oh, I hate that. No, that's just that's a thorn. That's a literal thorn. I don't like that. Oh, interesting. That looks like a What does that look like? Asparagus. That looks like an asparagus. Curious indeed. Okay, kinda got some flared some flair to it. Ooh, crooked spiral. Oh, and that looks dark and mysterious. How intriguing. So I'm trying to think, like, where would my hand rest? If I were to hold this, I feel like my index finger would be crooked right there, which might be a nice yes, feel. Indeed. This looks really cool, but I'm not sure if it's super, like, versatile, you know? I think I like this one the most. Like, hand feel wise, I feel like this would probably be the one, How the way to go. Or even this, because this has a nice, nice firm grasp to it, right? Hmm. That does look like it'd be nice in the hand, though. It goes up, though. I'm trying to imagine. It going because in this one, thumb would rest right here, right? Curious indeed. I think I like this one. Hmm. How intriguing. I'm not sure if I like the color variations though. Curious indeed. Hmm. How intriguing. How intriguing. I think this one is my favorite though. I think that's probably Curious indeed. Yeah, that's my favorite finish, of course. Oh, Wood type. How intriguing. Okay, so this is just for for my benefit then. 
dogwood. That's that's a bush. You. Sycamore. I Curious think indeed. I'll go with you because I played a lot of RuneScape. And I can chop down yous with my RuneScape account. So that feels good to me. Uh, so nine and a half all the way up to 14. Nine and a half isn't much. For like a wand? I feel like I'll do a solid 13, because 14 seems like too much. How intriguing. Eight. Because if this is eight, and then you got four. 13 seems like a good wand size. Flexibility. Quite bendy. Unyielding. I don't want too stiff, right? Because the stiffer it is, the more bendy it is. But the more... I mean, wait, wait, what? The stiffer it is, the more it's prone to breakage. But the bendier it is... That does bad stuff too. Swishy. Swishy Curious sounds good. Indeed. Dragon heart Dragon heartstring. That serves as the core of a wand known for producing powerful magic. Hmm. A unicorn hair wand is most reliable and faithful to its owner. A hair of a unicorn that serves as the core of the wand, known for producing consistent magic. Ah, phoenix feather. Exceptionally rare and a core with a strong sense of initiative. Phoenix feather that, that serves as the core of the wand, capable of producing a great range of magic. A dragon heartstring wand is most powerful and learns quickly. Most powerful. I think I want to balance. Balance sounds good to me. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah. <laughs> another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> ah. Now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sensed a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. Of course. And a phoenix feather core is terribly selective. This will be an excellent match indeed. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new wand's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. Like, like auto aim, kind of perceive my intentions. Revelio. There's a book outside. I don't think there's anything more inside. Of course there is. Ollivander's wand shop, wands of a variety of woods and all manner of flexibility, each possessing one of three magical cores. Choose their owners in this Kazi. In this, in this Kazi? Cluttered shop run by 
the amiable and knowledgeable Gerbold Ollivander in the profession of Wandcraft since 382 BC. That's a while ago. The Ollivander family are considered the best wand makers in Britain, if not the world. Do they mean cozy? That word... That's not cozy. Cossy? Oh, those Brits spell things wrong. I was playing earlier, and they spelled color wrong. They spelled it with a U. Rebellion. Oh. Oh. Oh, I see a page. Oh, you can't hide from me. Because I got a new wand. Oh, I actually got it. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. Zonkos. Tricks and jokes. I do love Rebellion. tricks and I like jokes. Frequently regulated. Frequented regularly by Hogwarts students and villagers alike. Zonkos is the place to buy pranks and jokes in Hogsmeade. I think I will. There's just goofs and gaffs all around. What are you? Frog spawn soap. An amphibious surprise awaits anyone who tries to wash with this particular bar of soap. Once submerged in water, a cohort of wriggling tadpoles hatches right out of the suds. That sounds like the worst. Why would you want that? That's the worst. Rebellion. Oh, there's so much stuff to mess around with here. Of course, I don't know what I was expecting. Hmm. Oh, I hate that in so many ways. Rebellion. I like the hats. I want one of those hats. I refuse to wear anything of less interest. Gonna drop all them coins. Rebellion. Tempest in a bottle. Interesting. Hogsmeade Station. So many fun things. Boxing telescope. Don't push. That wasn't that impressive. A little blast of magic in your face. Oh, that's okay. Oh, the door works. Oh, and there's a book. Gotti. What are you? Bewildering can of mystery. While these surprises canned and distributed by Anderson Brothers Co. Anderson. Oh, yeah, wasn't expecting that. Is there another one? There is. Lovely. I'm just wasting product here left and right. I'm not going to buy any of it. Cool. Rebellion. I heard a ding. Where are you? Way over there? Oh, that's too far. Oh, girl. Do you need a light? Oh, well... That was a pretty good joke. Oh, 
Oh, I can see the outside. Right there. Rebellion. Oh, there's a thing up here. Oh, it's a lock. I don't know the unlock spell. Oh, it doesn't let you jump indoors. Oh, that's okay. Oh! Wigan Wield Potion. Oh, that's health. Neat. Yeah, I'm pretty positive I did the Revere... Revealo spell a couple times in here. I'm not sure why some of those things just didn't pop up. Hello, barkeep. Never mind, barkeep, you're busy. What are you eating? Oh, yes. Um, big fat loaf of bread and a hot dog. Mixed with a uh, scrambled... Avocado? May I try it? I'm not too picky. What are you? Nuts. Lovely nuts. Oh, sir, I want your hat very much. Oh, I want the hat so very badly. Revelio. Let's see. That's Zonko's. I was just there. What are you? Your door is locked. How dare thee. Oh, a rat. Oh, oh, a rat. Oh. Hmm. Room six. Just three brooms laying about. I feel like there's very important stuff going around on around me, but I'm just too distracted by the cats. Look to the forbidden forest. What's going on? Say your thing. The beasts are omens. Okay, so there's beasts in forbidden forest. Sounds like that's kind of what they do, right? Mm, too many locked doors for my liking. Oh, on the locked door. What are you looking at? What are you looking at? Hmm. What are you? What is this? Oh, that's the wands again. Right. I haven't been in here yet. No. No, I have been. Food. I've been in here? I don't Rebellion. think so. Do you have stuff I can borrow? Oh, I found a hat. I found a hat. Guys, I found a hat. Oh, 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 where's my hat? Edware. Six defense. It's legendary. Oh, yeah, it is. Oh, I like that so much. And some upgrade slots too. Trait slot level three. I have no idea what that means, but it's legendary. Secret solver's tailor hat. Ooh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. I do like that. Ooh, do you have more stuff I can borrow? Never return. Sleek school cloak? Oh, you just got... You got the works up here. Mm, gear. Pink 
increase by nine? No, increase to nine. Increase by five. Oh, that is sleek. Oh, look at me. Oh, I love it. Look at these guys watching out for me. Leaving their goods unlocked. My backwards reflection? Oh, wait. Oh. No, the reflection is still backwards. That is my front. How awful would it be if all the mirrors in your house worked the opposite direction? Like, I just want, like, a non-magical mirror, thank you. It's not a bug, it's just magic. Oh. Got stuck there for a second. What's over here? What's down here? Oh, I can't go down there. What's in here? No, it's locked. Ah, uh, but no, it's locked. Well, certainly this is... Yeah. Welcome to J. Pippin's Pushins. Revelio. Thank you. One second. I'm, I'm looking at your secrets. J. Pippin's Potions, established in 1753. They're pretty new at this. Here's the apothecary in Hogsmeade, where proprietary Perry Pippin sells a wide variety of potions and their ingredients. Interesting. And you have secrets in your basement, I see. You have secrets in your foyer. Check gloves, you say. I will check the gloves, and I think they are better. Hmm. Yeah, the offense is better. Offense of 10. They're not legendary, but you know, they're better. That's not bad. That's not too bad at all. I'm looking very interesting already. Pardon me, sir. Oh, thank goodness. When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss Lawang. Not that she deigns to come here. Though, I don't believe I've seen your face here before, either. It's my first time in Hogsmeade, actually. Is it really? Well... Parry Pippin at your service. And this is J. Pippin's Potions. Potions for all ailments. <laughs> You'll have read it on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. How may I help you today? Professor Weasley sent me to collect some recipes. I'm new at Hogwarts. You're the student she sent the owl about. I set your things aside immediately. I suspected if you're anything like I was at your age, you'd want your potion supplies. Is it not the most fascinating what? art potion making? Rivals anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. A potion's really that versatile. They may not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake, they are just as powerful. They can heal, destroy, protect. You'll discover all of this soon enough. As it's your first time in, I should mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. I also offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses, and... I unveil new ones from time to time. Pop in when you can so you don't uh, miss out on anything. Hmm? But for now, let's get you those recipes, shall we? If I what were to I do for you today. If I were to pick someone to never trust with a single secret ever, it would be this man right here. Supplies. Free. I do like free. Ooh, and I can make the healing potion now, too. Feel free to take a look at the rest of my inventory. Or come back another time if you're in a rush today. Stench of the dead. Essence gathered from Inferi. Ingredient for Thunder Brew. Mongrel fur. Troll... Boog tr troll boogies. Leech juice. Oh, Interesting, interesting. Oh, the recipes are so expensive, though. I can sell stuff. I don't think I need a traditional school robe. I have a much better one right now. Perfect vest uniform. This is a pretty cool vest, but I have something better.
Okay, I'm not seeing my checkered glove, so I feel like it's safe to assume that anything that I'm wearing is not showing up here. So let me just sell all of my trash. Because I like money. Money, money, money. 1200, 800 invisibility potion. Practically in makes the drinker practically invisible. Not invisible, but practically invisible. I'm gonna buy it. That's practically almost gonna be useful. Endurance potion. Wiggle weld potion. Invisibility potion. Lovely, lovely stuff. What are you? Oh. You spin. Oh. I love, but I also Rebellion. hate that. Ooh, book. Ooh, book. I get it? No. There we go. Ooh, I collected all the field pages here. Rebellion. There's a chest under here. Oh, it has the eyes. Oh, this is where my invisibility comes in. I see. Revelio. What about down here? Yeah, there's a thing down here. Garbage gloves. Tartan Blazer School Uniform. I can't wear it. It's locked at level 7. But it's better than what I have. Interesting. Wait, I can destroy stuff? Why would I ever want to destroy stuff? I'm not sure if destroying stuff would be any benefit to me. I mean, I could just sell it if I don't want it, right? Oh, there must be some sort of um, crafting ingredient that you get when you destroy it. Rebellion. Sir, what is this? What is this demon child holding here? Repair. That's not the right one. Give me your secrets, child. Repair. Levioso. Lumos. Revelio. Well, I ran out of ideas. Oh, but free stuff. Nuts. Yes, please. An ale, ale got an ale. Why am I touching this spittoon? Oh, I hate that. Don't touch spittoons, kids. Revelio Oh, a lock. Oop, another lock. Why are people locking their doors? I just want their stuff. Oh, I hate that. Oh, that's too dangerous for me. Oh. Oh, I think I've pet you before. Wait. Why does that highlight? Lumos. Repairer. 
The highlights. I'll look into that later. Um, yeah, haircut. Um, hog's head. I, think I went there. Tombs and scrolls. What do the stars mean? Is there a key? Mm, I don't see a key. Brood and Peck. A bee supply shop? Let's go here. Yeah. Where are we going? Oh, to go this way. Oh, cat. I told you not to go down that path. Miss Peck from Brood and Peck said a customer lost a Deeracle around here. I know we're not supposed to go down there. I just thought... You could have got us in a lot of trouble. Rebellion. I'm sorry, Father. Only she said I might earn a reward. <laughs> Instead, I just wasted our time. There you are. Oh, finally. I'll have enough of that wind wind. Oh, well, not meant to be. Also, I may have knocked over a dustbin back there. Never mind, I'll fix it, as always. Do you not know the spell? This one that gets stuff that you want? Where the book go? Where the page go? Oh, come on now. There we go. Now there's a thing that keeps on popping in and out of existence. I don't know why I want it, but I know I want it. Hmm. Might come back. It's locked! Can I go around? It's still locked. Oh, that's... That's a cage, yeah. All right, well that. The, oof, ha. The nice view, at least. I don't have an owl of any sort yet, do I? Maybe I can uh, acquire an owl with uh, extra legal means, perhaps. It's over here. Ah, uh, nothing. Owls, I wanna- oh, wait, I want I want the book. And secrets. We'll just leave their gold around everywhere. Must be pretty commonplace. Hello, I would like a, um... An owl, please, one owl. Good talk. Good talk. Alright, well that's locked. Wizard wear. I am a wizard and I do like uh, uh, to wear stuff. Glad Rags Wizard Wear. Founded in 1750. And with the locations in Paris, London, and Hogsmeade, Glad Rags offers a variety of wizarding garments and accessories. Mr. Augustus Hill and his associate Otto Dibble happily help all those who wander into the shop, enjoying, in particular, the challenge of the customer with less fashion sense than most. I feel called out. 
None of my stuff really matches. Wait, there's a chest here. Oh. It looks like it might be one of those eyeball chests. I think I might need to be invisible for those. But I don't know. Yeah, probably. Hello, mister, I have no fashion sense. Please help me. No? Okay. Hello, mister. Can I buy stuff from you? Ooh, I got a new scarf. Very fancy. Hello, I would like... I would like your fine wares, please. And your strange monkey... with orb. One of each. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what the monkey wants. Ah, uh, yes. Splendid. God, it'd be so weird to be a wizard, right? Like, you're walking around and, like, inanimate objects are, are animate. Animate. Just, like, doing their thing and stuff. Like, what, how do you even react in, like, a normal, everyday situation? Okay, okay, hear me out, hear me out. They particularly like those with no style. So hear me out. Gloves on. Glasses on. Hat on. Scarf. Oh, I have nice scarves now, don't I? This is nicer. Um, but... No coat. And no outfit. Now, this is not style, and this is not hip. Help me, sir. I don't know. I am a fashion nightmare. Oh, God. I got a little... I got a little pooping flap. I actually kind of really want these PJs now, though. Do I have a wallet in my pocket? No. No, that's not a pocket. Well, that's not, uh not working it's not working for me he's not he's not picking up on the bait and I had that one on all right well clearly I'm too high class for you um oh what what are you secrets I see glad rags mannequin Unlike the enchanted mannequins favored by students for dueling practices, the mannequins at Gladrag serve only as a means of to display the latest in wizarding fashion. So it's a mannequin. Got it. Sneakoscope. A sneakoscope is a type of dark detector and will spin, whistle, and light up when it detects someone untrustworthy nearby. It should be used with caution, however, as it will alert the untrustworthy to the user's presence almost instantly. sneak a scope It is, is pointed right at the door. Well, I just stole a new hat, so your sneak -a scope is clearly malfunctioning. Oh, it's better. Scarecrow hat. Yeah, I don't really know what I was expecting. Okay, well... Technically, it's better, so we're gonna keep it. We had our top hat for so little time. You know, I don't... I don't I'm, not, I'm not jiving with it, you know? Um, I believe, I believe, I might be mistaken here. Is there a way I can compare the two? I believe there's a change of appearance.
Yeah. I like the look of that hat more. Yeah. All things are right. Scriven shafts. Have I been in here? Must not have been. There's a cat. Oh, there's so many cats. Oh, this room's gonna take forever. Rebellion. Oh. oh, the cats. These cats seem to stay close to Scriven Shaft's quill shop. Perhaps it's the feather quills that entice them, or perhaps it's the traits the owners often leave for them. Probably a little bit of both, honestly. Pet the cat, please. I'm begging you, pet the cat. Pet, please. Oh. Okay. Trying to 100% uh, the cats here. There we go. They all need love. Every single one. They are treasures. Revelio. Hello, ma'am. I can't talk to you, so I'm gonna leave. Um, and steal your stuff. Is that okay? I'm not really asking. Now, it looks like there's another chest, but it looks like it's on the back end. What? Why am I getting this? We have updated the Steam subscriber agreement. What? Okay, I'm gonna click agree and just accept. That was wild. <laughs> Dervish and bangs. What do you do? Nope, I've already been in here. What is this? Okay. I go around. Ooh, chest, chest. Ah, it's the fuck. Another eye chest. Can't do anything with that. I'm inexperienced. I wish you could attack people. Cowards. Brood and Peck, I think. No. Where do I go? Have I found everything there is to find? Am I amazing? I believe there's a quest I was doing. Welcome to Hogsmeade. Magic Neep and Tombs and Scrolls. I thought Tombs and Scrolls was locked. Okay, so magic meep. Okay, tombs and scrolls, literally the opposite end of the building. And the magic neep is outside of town. The old fool. I'm definitely going there soon. Alright, show me magic book. I really like this compass. Okay, this seems kind of rude, but... You know, whatever. If technically it's the shortest route, it's the shortest route, right? The 
music is just so fun too. Rebellion. Oh. An inquiring mind. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spellcrafts Professor Weasley ordered. Matilda, student. I thought I might be seeing you soon. I am the proprietor here. Thomas Brown. I take it you've had a conjuring lesson then? I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, uh, but you will soon enough. It is magic at its purest, creating something out of nothing. Of course, it is not without complexity, but that is where my spellcrafts come in. Stay the course, and you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. That's certainly something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. I look forward to that day. And I, too, see in it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, let's get the spellcrafts you need. A potting table and a potion station, yes? I believe so, sir. Good. Nothing like being able to grow your own ingredients and brew what you want, when you want. Let's have a look. Let's look at what we have, shall we? Three. It takes three to top this guy off. Oh, yeah, I got a mess going on here. Oh, what now? Three stuff? Potting table with a small pot spellcraft. Unlocks the ability to conjure a potting table with a small pot. Use it. Uses pots to grow all sorts of useful magic plants. Neat. Small potion station spellcraft unlocks a, the ability to, to acquire a small potion station perfectly suited to all your potion brewing needs. Yeah. If you're interested, feel free to take a look around at the rest of my infantry. Beast feeder spellcraft. I can have beasts? Clearly I can have beasts if I can feed them. Beast toy box will cry. What? Chopping station? Oh. Dung composer. I can have dung. Ooh. Make or break the game right there. Are you guys hot? I got, I'm got. i kind of hot. My hair is unfloofing itself. Because of it. Ugh. How obscene. Okay, so T-shaped potion spellcraft. Interesting. I can't afford anything you're selling, sir. I am Rebellion. poor. I am incredibly, incredibly poor. What are you? Okay. Please, please tell me more about these these stairs. Enchanted staircase. Here we go. This enchanted staircase in tombs and scrolls reveals itself when a particular book is moved. The pri proper the proprietor here, Thomas Brown, sells a variety of written products including spellcrafts handy for conjuration ooh secrets rebellion okay money okay yeah i'll i'll, I'll take money money's okay oh that's pretty oh in a book oh i almost missed you I want a mural in my house. Just something wild and outlandish. Wait, I leveled up. I think that means I got... Was it a new outfit? Oh, it was. Am I not wearing this? 
Oh. It's the same level. But this one's superb. This one's just well appointed. And this one's worth more money. Cannot upgrade. No upgrades applied. So this one's better. Even though it's for one level lower. Huh. Okay. Um, and then I wanted to go to this place. Show me the way, magic book. I suppose all books here are are magic books, right? So it's a little bit redundant to call any book magic book. Because that's most books. It's like Chinese food. In China, it's just called food. Yeah, no, that makes sense to me. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the seeds Professor Weasley arranged for me to collect. Oh, the Dittany for the new fifth year. <laughs> I take it that's you, then. Merlin's beard. Starting Hogwarts is a fifth year. You must be positively reeling from it all. Not at all. I'm choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Well, bravo. Not everyone has the temperament to take things as they come. Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way. And this is my shop, the Magic Neep. I keep the cart out here because I like a good chat. Can't very well be in the thick of things if I'm hidden away inside now, can I? I suppose not. In addition to seeds, I have plenty of plants. Grow everything myself. My speciality is potion ingredients. Even Pippin purchases from me. But what say we get you a packet of Dittany seeds? A more. Yes, you're after something fresh. Yes, uh, the purple carrot, please. Dittany seed. Unlocks the ability to grow Dittany in small pots. Fair. Do have a look around. Plenty of ingredients to pique your interest, I'd wager. I don't know what any of these are. Well, that's everything. Better go and find Natty. Yeah, I don't... I don't know what those are, so I'm just not going to buy them. That seems fair. And this is all trash? Oh, I do like this hat, though. I'm going to keep the hat. I'll keep the hat. It's a good hat. Revelio. The Magic Neep card. This card belongs to Timothy Teasdale, who runs the Magic Neep. He enjoys being in the thick of things and engaging with customers outside the shop. Okay. Can't go inside your house, unfortunately. How dare you. Wait, you glow. No, no, come back. I'm not done with you. <laughs> Look at it. Go higher. Okay. Come here. Let me, let me up. I can't go up? No uppies? Okay. Suit yourself. Ah, oh, it's locked. Why is everything good in life locked? Oh wait, come back. I wanna... <laughs> oh, I love this game. Oh, is it okay? Yeah, it's fine. Magic chest, I see. Oh, I have a waypoint. Right, um, task. Those are owls, not book pages. Got me hopes up for a sec there. What is this, though? Looks like a giant cage. 
Oh. Oh, yep. That's because it is a giant cage. That is the beast shop. That's currently locked. Okay, one more, one more. Hundred percent cat speed run. Gives me a good little respite though to drink. So I'm not complaining in the least bit. Oh, I don't know if I touched you yet. Hello, are we ready to go? Ah, I have everything. I see what you meant about not being able to pick a favorite shop. <laughs> we should walk around a bit more. Perhaps today is the day I finally pick one. Honey dukes. So there you You're not supposed to be here. Oh, what am I doing? What the? Draw it away from the building! Away from the building! Oh, uh, control. Giving me quick time events. What is this? Oh, uh, uh, do the thing. Oh, oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh. Are we weakening him at all? Keep at it. We have to wear him down. Stupid. I'm too close. I'm too close. Get away. Get away. Get away. Was trying to beat him in his own game. I left it. Do oh. Not. oh, I just took three healing potions. By the sounds of it. Let me ooh, 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 ooh. Button's hard. Let me get away. Oh, well, I did that too. Got it right. Quick time events. I feel like I hit that one on time. Okay, maybe not. Okay, so that doesn't have any effect. This seems to be the way to go. Just throw stuff at it. Took him long enough. Oh, 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 oh stuck. Sure Ooh, that didn't work. Ooh, stuck in the corner. Please don't kill me. Oh. I'm out of healing potion. <laughs> oh. oh! Oh! Stop! Please stop! Please stop! Please stop! Troll the purchase. Goodness, a second troll. Did you two take on a fully grown troll by yourselves? And didn't I die once. So. Mm -hmm. It's all a bit of a blur, to be honest. Merlin's yep. beard. Are you all right? No, we I are, died. And we were glad to help. I'd say help is a bit of an understatement. Nerd Thanks. Like that. But no, the I lost. Of an aura, if you ask me. If you are unharmed. Perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where they were. 
Of course, officer. I'm Sing terribly harmed. Officer Singer. And thank you, again. I'm incredibly harmed. Does that hurt? When they just like teleport away like that? Does that hurt? That looks oh, like it oh, would no, no, no. really, really hurt. Like, I understand that magic is magic and all, right? But like, you're folding up your body in such a way and contorting it in the blink of an eye. That looks incredibly painful. Rebellion. And you cannot convince me otherwise that it is not the most agonizing pain of your life to like, blah, 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 and just like teleport. Like, that's insane, right? Ingest of Woodcroft. All right, very spook, very Halloween. I like it. The statue is of Hufflepuff. Hingris of Woodcroft, believed to be the founder of the village of Hogsmeade after having been driven from his home by muggle persecutors. I love it. Oh, that's nice. I like that. Okay, well, Hufflepuffs aren't that bad, I guess. We're okay. Repairer. One less thing for Officer Singer to worry about. I think it'd be so fun to have. Oh, guess I did that one too. I think it'd be so much fun to have Repairo just like by the wayside. So, like, you could get, like, super angry one day and start, like, smashing a bunch of stuff that you really care about. And then you can just be like, okay. Had Repairo. my fun. Repairo and just fix it all. Lucky they didn't do more damage. Like, it would be so pleasant to destroy something. And then equally so to repair it. Like, look at that. Oh. Just blow up your house and then casually fix it? Yeah. That sound... Well, I didn't repair -o good enough. Um, sir, you are missing your foundation of your house. I don't know how to fix that. Oh, I haven't pet you. I know that for sure. Have you been? Did this troll scare you? Oh, poor little bubby. Meow. Meow do you two. Been there. Been there. And you were very rude. They didn't even talk to me. Lots of owls. They didn't talk to me either. The candy shop. I don't think I've been in the candy shop yet. Look at that. Oh, I love it already. Rebellion. Do you have a thing? You do have a thing. What's your thing? Honeydukes. Great name. Honeyduke's Sweet Shop sells a variety of magical sweets, from fizzling whizbies to exploding bonbons. The customers would be wise to know precisely what effect they may be experiencing before sampling the shop's wares. No, that's fair. It's a wait. Whoa, what? Wait, no, go back. Go back. What? Oh, six of seven. Uh, do you repair. need repair? Okay. And then the candy shop. Did I just run into an invisible person there? Yeah, yeah right there. Right there. I don't know what that is. There's a thing in my way. Mm. It's not giving off any particle effects though, so I'm not quite sure what it is. Oh, are you inside? Did you go inside? That makes too much sense. We were just talking about you. Oh yeah, the person that wouldn't talk to me earlier. How are you doing? Hello, sir. I don't believe we've met. 
allow me to introduce myself, Augustus Hill, Clothia Extraordinaire. I should like to thank you for your remarkable bravery in fighting those trolls, and not to mention your help restoring Hogsmeade to its rightful state. Your hair is lame I in your room. I was happy to help. Frankly, you deserve an Order of Merlin, but I can offer you something much more useful. I own Gladrag's wizard wear, and among my inventory are some unique items that afford certain protections, as it were. Life-saving protections. And as I suspect this won't be your last dangerous encounter, I'd like to give you one such set of robes. In thanks for what you did today. <laughs> Too gracious, you didn't talk to me earlier. Thank you, sir. I'll Thank take you, you up Mr. on it. Hill. That's very generous of you. It's the least I can do. It is. Uh, now, let's try this on for time, <laughs> shall we? It's free. You've received a new piece of gear. Time to equip it. Your current defense and offense are displayed at the top of your screen. I'm <laughs> way ahead of you. Select the cloaks and robes gear slot and press left click. Like this, equip the robe. Wait, what? Is this one, right? Disgusting. Oh. That's nice of you. What an extraordinary introduction to Hogsmeade. I would say that we, and you in particular, have earned at least one butter beer. Shall we head to the three broomsticks? Sounds like a good idea. Wonderful. Just down this way then. I sell even more whoa, whoa, whoa. worthy items. Oh, whoa, whoa. First of all, let me take off this, this garbage. Because it doesn't even have a cool talus at the back. You know, that's what makes or breaks. Okay, all honesty though. If I were at home, right? Just me chilling out at home doing zeep stuff you know i would wear this one like it's got like the little slytherin embroidered that's super cool it has full sleeves yeah you see that yeah you see that you go to this one okay yeah the cufflings are kind of cool but like it's like a half sleeve kind of thing i mean whenever i wear any sweatshirt like i like I like my hoodies, right? So, so the hood S tier, right? My clothes need a hood. Will I ever wear my hood? Never. Absolutely never. I never wear the hood. But I like the hood. It's a comfort thing. Um, but these sleeves are trash. You know, I want, I want the full sleeve experience and then I want to roll it up to me elbows because that's how you wear stuff. Um, so in reality, the sleek school cloak is trash. The traditional robe is so much better, but when it comes with the vest too, oh, that's nice. But we're not, we're not giving points for style. We're giving points for practicality. Lose my shop at your leisure. I will, and I will sell back. <sighs> I can sell back for nothing. Okay, well, if it is actually useless, I think I will destroy it. And see if I can get anything out of that. Destroy. Did that just... It just destroyed it, like... I mean, yes, of course, but like... You know, like I was expecting like... Wool, or... Or, 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 or fabric pieces, you know, like a crafting material? 
Um. Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. Seventeen. Gee, Willikers, mister. Twenty. You know, the worst part, though, is that I don't even know what's good. Right? Like... Like, 500 coin doesn't seem like that much. Offense, defense. Right, there's a difference. I don't even know what's good. I'm going to keep what I have on me right now, even though I totally died by that troll. And the game just too forgiving, and it's like, oh, you mean a cutscene, you mean you won. I'll just keep what I have. Assuming it is not too busy, you might even meet Zerona, the owner. She is a charming hostess and a powerful witch. Revelio, who'd want to know? Oh, oh. Doing a cutscene. Oh, he has a top hat. You said you could get to the child when they came to Hogsmeade. That all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. Who's this child? What are you not telling me? All you need to know is that if you cannot get to the child, then you have no value to me. Kill him. Let's go. He saw me. Well, uh, well, we were going the opposite direction. Did they see us? I don't think so. Oh, what 100%. What are they doing with Victor Rookwood? Vanrock is working with Rookwood. The goblin from the Daily Prophet. I knew I'd seen him somewhere. Quickly, let's get inside the three broomsticks. What? No, we can take him. We're like the chosen it's one or a something. Treat to see you, Lord Gok. I shall let you know if I hear anything. Thank you, Serona. You be well. What are you looking at? Now, what can I? Oh, there's a face I haven't seen before. <laughs> it's my first time here. Welcome. What Ideas appears on me. Oh, okay. Heard about the attack. I shall be looking in on the other shopkeepers and residents shortly. Glad to see you two escaped injury. Thanks to this one, single-handedly took down a troll. Is that right? Well nope. done. Thanks for this. My pleasure. I will say, <sighs> trolls in Hogsmeade. That's never happened before. Something's not right. Well, there were trolls the in the dungeon a few years ago. Oh, time, lame. I want his coat. I will kill you and steal your coat. Was that Lodgok I saw leaving just now? And your hat. Your clientele's not what it used to be, Sarona. Not to worry, Victor. Once the two of you leave, the caliber of my clientele will greatly improve. I want all his clothes. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Theophilus. Come now. Theophilus. No need for theatrics. I'm only here for this one anyway. My friend is enjoying a well-earned butterbeer. Only yeah, a quick I word. killed a Perhaps troll. you didn't hear me. I said, my friend is busy. One would think you all had enough bloodshed for one day. Do people die? Come, the ominous. The three broomsticks isn't what it used to be. Let's take our galleons elsewhere. No, 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 back up. Did people die? Can't drink butterbeer forever. Well, ha. Huh. You can. You just... Forever isn't that I long. you've made an unfortunate enemy. Watch your back. Rookwood and Harlow are worse than any troll you might encounter. Trolls, Ranrock and Rookwood. What are you not telling me? I promise to tell you everything, but it's perhaps best I do that later. Secret secrets. I think that now might be a good time to head back to the castle. 
Wait, wait, I got, I got some food to eat. There. Um, and actually, I don't know where you're going, but the candy shop, I believe, is this way. Can I just... I don't think I can go to the candy shop. Oh, I'm like I'm in a quest. I'm certainly glad Serona was there. And that she isn't intimidated by thugs like Brookwood and Harlow. I want to understand what's going on, and I hope you will tell me. But for the moment, we should return to the castle. Professor Weasley will certainly hear about the troll attack soon if she hasn't already. I don't want her to worry. You must return to your common room for the night. Access the map. Okay. Select the Hogwarts map at the bottom. Oh, of course. Yes. In my... Slytherin common room. Of course, I know exactly where the Slytherin common room is. <laughs> You take me for a fool? 